Alrighty, good morning stackers, good morning YouTube, welcome back. Another video, another tailgate auction, something a little bit different about today is I'm actually setting up and selling some stuff. I had about, I'd say 20 to 30 box lots at home um, that needed to be either donated or taken here. I threw in a couple other boxes that I figured were maybe a little bit better and uh, maybe I'll get a little bit more money thinking maybe somebody's going to buy multiple items because they bought that one box. Um, but yeah, I'm selling a bunch of stuff. Let's see how well this one goes. And you know, if I make 20 or 30 bucks, I'm happy. It pays for my gas and probably might pick up some other inventory here as well. So I'll show you guys my stand and I'll show you guys what else is here. So let's get into it. my stand now let's look around and see what else everyone else has these are kind of cool I think I'm going to bid on these these are all World Series guides and Phillies guides yearbooks not a Phillies fan, but I think it would sell. Does anyone oh this might be a doorknob. That's probably what it is. Door handle.
that might be valuable. Old Christmas tree stand. So, I bought a row of stuff. Got some railroad magazines here. Don't know if they're really hot, but... Well, it's really hot out right now, but I don't know if they're a hot commodity. However, I think they'll be all right. I think I only paid two bucks for a row, and there's a couple other boxes of stuff. So, we'll see how well I can pick up more stuff. I didn't get to put out everything. I could have got one more table, but... I don't know. I felt like not getting every table. Anybody else want to pick for a dollar? One five six is gonna pick. Okay. Okay. George is gonna take two two times the money. You wanna have my half now four? Four for now four. Four now six. Six for now six. And we're six. Six for now six. Four dollars number one six two. Four dollars number one. Alrighty, so that's going to kind of wrap it up in terms of what I, uh, well, the auction itself. I made a lot more than I thought I was going to make. It's a really good option to kind of... The ram skis doing things on me again. Uh, but I did alright. This is going to be kind of hard to do a recap. Because, uh, all that stuff over there is stuff that I brought and didn't sell or stuff that I brought too much stuff. But all of this stuff here is what I bought. Now I spent a total of $19. Uh, I think I made over si That's crazy no one wanted that. I think, that, I think it's full, but I spent a total of $19. Lots of different like small things and housewares of that, of that nature. I do have some antique lamps right here. These might be brass. So just in scrap alone, if this is brass, it's probably eight or 10 bucks. I can see this is definitely, it looks like it's two different kinds. This might be, that might be wood. This one's really nice, very unique in a way. I think it's a little newer, but there's all sorts of stuff in here. Um, what do I want? Oh, there goes that. That's serious. I think that's for cattle. I don't know what it does, but I think it's for cattle. There's all sorts of other things down here. This was a decent box. Good flea market box myself. Tools sell very well up there. So I'll have to go through that. What is this? It's for cooking fuel. Lanco. That's old. That's the old uh, supermarket here from previous to the 90s. Well, in the 90s. Other sorts of stuff. We have a lamp. Bunch of picture frames. I do have a couple good boxes here that I bought. But I think they're buried. So it's going to be hard to get to that. We do have some electronics. I guess that's a transistor radio. All transistor. Maybe I'm completely wrong. It's not a transistor radio. I'm not a radio guy. I did actually buy a whole... Wow, this is going to be bad. Kind of nice in a way. I bought this whole box. I think I paid a dollar for it. It's got all these different pieces that go to a stove. If you have a wood-burning stove, this goes to, like, the pipe. I'm pretty certain. It goes in the pipe like that, and then you open it or close it. I don't know if it's called a flute or what's the actual proper term for it. Uh, but that's how you keep, you know, the, the drafting and the air going up the tube when you when you have a wood-burning stove or something like that. You got a bag. There's all sorts of good stuff in there. I really wish I can get to that one. So I bought a box of CB radios. Is that it? This might be it. Which, they sell very, very good online. If you have the right model, this is a Sharp. I don't think Sharp's the best model, but... Um, there's a whole box there. I have a guy at the flea market also named Radio Bob and he buys CB radios and all sorts of different electronics and stuff like that and he takes them apart. He's one of those people who takes them apart 
and sell certain pieces that go with other things and uh, things of that nature. So he's a big tech guy in terms of radios, Radio Bob. And uh, I picked it up because I figured he'd probably buy it. I know he bought something off my friend Larry, who I sold the, uh, the butcher block to, if you guys remember that flea market video. He actually bought some CB radios for, I think, 15 bucks in the beginning. I don't know what he bought. I'll have to ask him. So I was thinking if I can get 10 or 15 for that, I think I only paid $2. It's a good pickup. A bunch of other stuff as well. Lots and lots of our stuff. If anyone likes trains, you guys got a model train. You can throw the model train on there, your favorite one. I don't know if that's G scale or O scale. I have no idea. It's not N scale or H O scale, but if you have a favorite train, you throw it on that. Very, very nice decorative piece. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. If you guys are interested in watching more auction videos and maybe if you guys want to see clean out videos, check out Auction Life on YouTube. I'll put his link in the description below. He's one of the helpers over there at Les's Auctions. He's coming out with a lot of cool videos recently and uh, He's trying to get into the YouTube game, so all the support would be greatly appreciated. Head over to his channel, like a couple videos, comment a couple videos, try to help him out. Uh, he's a great guy as well, so check him out. Put a link in the description below if you guys want to check out Les. Looking for an auctioneer in the local area. I'll also put his information in the description below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace!